Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Tie the Tasmanian Tiger to Bush Rescue for the PC. Now, it has been a while since I actually played a Tie the Tasmanian Tiger game. In fact, it was summer of 2017 that I did the original one on the GameCube. And anybody that watched that Let's Play knew that I had a fair amount of issues with the GameCube controller that I used, which was... A third-party controller, which had a very terrible dead zone. So any slight movement meant I was holding on one direction instead of just lightly pressing through. But anyway, that's neither here nor there, because we're doing this one on PC, and therefore there is no issue. So let's get started, shall we? As you can see, I only tried it before once for under an hour, and I felt like it played a little bit better than the first game. So far. But of course, you know, only playing it for that much, it's not a fair, you know, review. So let's get started, shall we? We'll go auto saving, good to know. <laughs> and let's get started. Hold on, Ty. I know a shortcut. I sure hope Ranger King got our message. Speak of the Tasmanian Devil. I thought you said this was a shortcut. It is. Whoa! Ty, mate. You took your time. The little country town of Karawong is under attack. What muck would want to do this? The local security is in the thick of it. One of their mates has holed up at the old barracks. Oh, this is a shocker out there. Frills have breached the Northern River. Sly, Shazza, I'm going to need your help. You can count on us. If we follow this road, it'll take us up to the old barracks. Okay, let's go. Oh, I forgot we still have like our old like rival from the first game. Press an old button to throw ranks. That seems easy enough. Okay, press the A button to jump. Oh, I got the Opal Hoarder achievement. It actually carried over the uh, stuff from the first file. Oh my god, this is actually a bit loud. Hang on, I'm gonna turn this down just a smidge. Sound effects are a little too out there. I do like that you have a map system for this. Alright, so, obviously, you know, this is acting like it's on the Xbox controller controls, but obviously I'm using a PS4 controller. But the button move placement makes it very easy to remember. Yeah, there's a lot of those lizards over here. Like, this is just pretty much the events, like, after the first game. Like, I don't know, like, how long it's been since the first game in this game's story. But hey, can you help out, please? Fine, I'll just kill him myself. Oh, That's the last B is of the frills, possum. The fire's out. Let's go. All right, I'm going. Those little outhouses there are basically your checkpoint. Whenever you die, you'll just respawn from that. Why are you telling me how to jump again? Like I already know how. These opals are pretty much your currency, by the way. If you can't really use your ranks to kill the enemies, just fight them. It'll be a little bit safer that way. If you feel like your attacks are going to miss. Oh, there's a lot of them there. Oh. Look out! Get an Eddie's! Let me at him. Whoa, that's a big one. Oh god, there's another one. Okay, you can't really fight them as easily. What is this road made out of? Like, it just bounces like that. Not too far to the old barracks now. Oh, is it now? You happen to have a GPS on ya? So can you confirm if we're close? Oh yeah, you can hold A to glide. We have to get to the other side of the bridge. 
See that battle bunyip? Maybe you can use it to clear the debris blocking the path. Debris? <laughs> debris does Dallas. Na 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 na. All right, Julius of Science Fact 820. Yeah, I'm not reading through the other 819. The Battle Bunyip. Left stick, you move A to jump, X to throw a punch. And it's also the throw button, apparently. No, that's the throw button for the boomerangs, and for this is the punch. When the power meter is full, press the bite button or B to do a power slam. I'm guessing the power meter is obviously on the left side. And if these guys are getting trying to grab you, you gotta shake them off. Like a Taylor Swift cover, you know? Don't actually do a Taylor Swift cover, you'll probably get sued. <laughs> Wait, probably? <laughs> huh, well that was easy. Hope those cars had insurance. We have to keep moving. The ultra barracks are just ahead, mate. Come on! I'm doing Come on. as fast as I can, to relax. Not far to go now. This must be it right here. Well, that's one way to knock. Oh my god, look at the size of this thing. No. You all right? I'm here to help you, mate. Don't worry about me. <laughs> There's a battle mortar in the old barracks. It's the only thing that can defend the ground troop from those demon fluffies. I'm there. <coughs> you little beauty. Usually Australian slang has a bit more swearing, but obviously this is supposed to be an appropriate game. Alright, keep smashing the walls like you're the Kool-Aid man. Tie there in a robot suit going, oh yeah! Okay, that must be the mortar right there. Alright, science fact number 1024. Press X or the right trigger to launch mortars. Right stick to aim the battle mortar. Use the left stick to zoom in and out. Oh, okay, that, that works. Well, if I'm using the right stick, I'm just better off using the uh, right trigger then. Okay, your ammo is just there on the side. This guy should be pretty easy to smash, right? As long as it doesn't shoot back at me or anything. But I think I remember messing up on this part a couple times. Probably because there was like so many targets. Okay, luckily you have a GPS to help you out with that. So it seems like a drop ship right in front of me. It's been hard to hit because it's so high up. Okay, what the hell is shooting me? Is that another drop ship? It is. Oh, and there's these guys too. This could be a problem. I believe my health is there in the upper left, too. So I don't know if drop ships are going to keep appearing as I'm dealing with them. But I'm sure my little HUD will tell me. I wonder if I can just hold the button rather than just... Yeah, you have to keep pressing it. That wall is actually in the way. I don't like that. Did I get it? I think I did. Alright, go for some long distance firing, I guess. Go long. <laughs> oh, oh, shoot! Here they come. Oh my god. They just keep firing. Oh, it's getting away, isn't it? Why am I still being shot? Oh. I'm 
thing that's annoying about the drop ships, it doesn't take long for them to shoot back at you. And I don't know if you can deflect their bullets. Oh, oh god, that was annoying. Look how much health I'm losing to them. There's just too many enemies now. Again, if I take out a drop ship, there's another one right there on the opposite side. And it doesn't look like I have any defensive mechanisms in place to, you know, block their attacks. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. Oh nice, I got him. Taking care of those demon fluffies, possum. Hang on, what's that? Boss cast. Or at least that's one of his minions. Shivers! Fluffy! That gate leads to the old jail. Where Boss Cass has been held prisoner. It's been a diversion for a jailbreak. Not if I can help it. I'll take care of it, Shaz. Right. Oh, hey, get off! I have to prevent crimes being committed! Well, 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 the little Andre has come out to play. I know what you're up to, and you're not gonna get away with it. Whatever. I knew we should have got an extra gate. Oh god, they're just rolling bombs now. Oh, well, that helped. Still doesn't do anything about the bombs. I guess I just have to keep sidestepping them. Oh gosh, she can run pretty fast. You're hanging around like a bad smell. You're one to talk. Really? You threw me an L? Oh, oh god, spray me. Hope it doesn't always do that. Oh, oh jeez. What is going on? Oh, okay, it's back to normal. Hey, Fluffy! You still here, rat boy? I'm not gonna let you break cash free. Oh, yeah? You and whose army? I don't need an army. <laughs> I think you're going to now. Boys, enjoy your meal. Oh, jeez. Well, that's one way to deal with them. Just keep building up your power meter. But once you see it's all white, it's all right. Luckily, these guys are pretty easy to just keep throwing a flurry. Or just do the slam whenever you got an opening. Oh, well, I guess the prisoners don't get a water fountain anymore. Good job. You're taking away their, uh, niceness. Oh, she was easy. Tormite, do you need a hand? Hmm. I failed already! Thanks, mate. I thought I was a gunner. At last, I'm free! Not if I can help it! Doodles time. So long, a loser. <laughs> Josh, what happened? Cass got away. You did the best you could, Possum. Yeah, mate. If it wasn't for you, I would have been dead meat. I could have done better. Next time, I'll be ready. 
if there's a next time. Of course there's a next time, there was two more games after this. And it is with great pride that I cut this ribbon and officially declare open Baramaji Bush Rescue. It's a state-of-the-art facility with an observation tower, research lab, airstrip, and advanced headquarters. That's you, Possum! Good on ya, mate. Dennis, you won't regret this. With Bush Rescue, we're ready to take on Boss Kess the next time he strikes. Well, it's not going to be that easy, I'm afraid. Why not? I've just got word that Cass has set up his own country just so he can have diplomatic immunity. You mean it's an immunity community? That stinker! Diplomatic whaty? As the newly elected president of Cassopolis, Boss Cass, and his diplomats are above the law as long as they're here on official Cassopolis business. They can double park, open other people's mail, and leave the milk out. And Sergeant Bluey can't touch him. Which is why it's important for us to find out what his plans are and catch him in the act. <sighs> well, there's no time to stand around gas bagging. We've got work to do. The local council has been complaining about crocodiles in the sewers, mate. Go see Ranger Ken to sort it out. Okay. Oh my god, my minimap is so small. Alright, I can press pause to like just zoom out on it. Alright, so here's my call sheet. Bush Rescue Training Program. Tree Rescue. That's a croc. Okay, so that's a bunch of your missions right there. I'm thinking the uh, red ones are more important. I'm not sure. But I know there's like a tier of importance as to like prioritizing quests. Alright, so obviously we didn't cap rescue much of anything right there. Burmudgy Town, we're missing like four of these creatures, two of Bob the Builder as a koala, and one of those trolls from World of Warcraft. There's 67 pictures, four cogs, and four lifesavers with jelly in them. There's your boomerang, you got your aqua ring, and that's it. So basically, aqua, aqua Rang is just what you can do underwater. Huh, <laughs> more Julius Science facts if you want to read them. Which I don't. <laughs> okay, at least you can, like, just use left and right to cycle through each one. If you want, like, more instructions on how to play. We'll probably go through it as we go. Right now, that's where we are in Burmudgy Town. I'm guessing the uh, arrow is us. Then there's the red star there, that's one of our quests. Oh, I can change my skin to the 4B paint. Oh, that's for the vehicle, never mind. I don't have any of these unlocked. Or any new attire for Ty. So I do like you can actually do that. All right, Julius Science Fact 2223. The Digital Rescue Assistant or the Draw. The draw is a portable computer that all Bush Rescue members carry. It's full of important information including the rescue missions that you have been assigned to. Which I've already know how to do. Time to go rescue some Bush. Wait, what? Don't take that out of context. Hold on, the sign there are like... Oh, you have to press Y, duh. Okay, the Y button allows you to activate switches and talk to people. Whenever you see an exclamation point about time, it means you can interact with something. Hi. Crikey! You're a frill lizard! What are you doing here? What does it look like? I'm working, mate. Not all lizards are bad, you know. Fair enough! My name's Sneef, and my mate over there is Keith. Good G'day! I'm the cook, and he's the mechanic. Although we sometimes swap jobs. Either way, I'm usually up to me elbows in grease. Uh, righto! I also take care of the Bush Rescue Training Program. If you want to scrub up on your rescue skills, just meet me over at that sign. 
You know what, tutorial may not be a bad idea. Wait a minute, did you clock out of your other job? Um, I hope you did. Well, either way, it looks like I'm gonna have to see him. Could do some looking around if you want to. This feels like the general HUD for this town. So let's just go do the tutorial. Righto, mate. First thing you need to know is how to get a better look around the place. You can do that by using the right analog stick. Just push it left or right to spin the camera around. And you can move the camera distance in and out by pressing up and down on the directional buttons. Mate, did you know that you can tailor the camera to your liking? You can change this through the options menu. They got that feature in already? I remember the 1960 games where a single flustered cameraman on a unicycle covered the whole event. Man, those were the days. I wonder how they covered Uniracers. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit. That's actually better. If you haven't better. worked it out already, mate, you can use those legs of yours to jump. It's easy, really. Press the jump button to get some air. Just like Jess, the jumping Joey from Jabaluka. Jabba what? <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'll have to do what I've been doing throughout the intro stage. That seems easy enough. Before you had your ranks, mate, you had a set of pearly white choppers. Yep, and in your case, you've got a good set of teeth on you. Just like Starkey, the snub-nosed shark from Strathpine. Here's how you can use them to bite things. Just press the bite button when you're near crates or bad guys. Fair enough. And, as luck would have it, we've got some crates right here. Why don't you have a go at biting them? Or I could just use my rings instead of my fangs. Alright, Julia Science Fact 2013, biting. Oh, okay. And those are the spy eggs up there. Here's a skill that should come in handy. See these floating thingamajigs? They're called spy eggs. Anyways, if you press the bite button repeatedly, you can chain your bites together. Just like Billy the chain biting Bilby from Boona. Righto. Beauty is, you can chain bite your way up to hard to reach places. Why don't you give it a go? Hey, you get, get it, get it. Just keep chipping. Just like our friends from Alliteration Land. <laughs> chain biting, okay, yeah, we know about that. Man, I hope I got a good dental plan after that. Good lord. Did you know that you can use those two rings of yours as makeshift wings? That's right. You can hold them out and use them to glide across wide gaps. All you have to do is press the jump button. And when you're in the air, press and hold the jump button again. And you glide through the sky like Glenn the Gliding Goose from Glen Iris. Do you know anybody whose name starts with X? Xander the Xylophone from Zephyth... I tried. Not very well, but I tried. Well, looky here. Some water. Just like a big bath. But you wouldn't know what that is, would you, Keith? Steady on there, mate. Anyways, Ty, we'll teach you how to swim in the water. It's easy, really. When you're in the drink, press the bite button to dive, then tap the jump button to start swimming. Oh, apparently they don't know a friend that knows how to swim. That's a rarity. Oh, hold on, there's something in there. Oh, that's just opals. Okay, I'll get used to the controls. Apparently you just hold A to move forward. And obviously use the left stick to steer. Alright, we good? Did I get enough money? Hope you I did. can swim alright, mate. Time to learn how to dive. All you have to do is run and press the jump button near the water's edge. Then press the bite button to do a dive. I reckon you'll take to it like Dave the Diving Duck from Darwin. Yeah, he died from doing a Darwin thing. There we go, that was easy. <laughs> Just two buttons. Boosh. Why don't jump the water's edge? Well, yeah, yeah, I know. There are some places that are too high to jump up. In some of these places, you might find a bunch of vines, or even a ladder. Like this one here. Anyways, 
Just walk into them to start climbing. Easy, eh? If you want to get off, just press the jump button. I reckon you'll be as good a climber as Matt the Mountaineering Magpie. He's from Marichidor. Who cares? How many friends do you know? There we go. Ladders. They're easy. See that target way up there? If you hold down Ty's view button, you'll get a ring's eye view of the place. You can throw your rings with greater accuracy this way. Why don't you give it a go now? Alright, first person mode. Hold left trigger. Fire the boomerang. That was the How'd you guys get through there? Careful, mate. There's a big drop just ahead. You know how we taught you to glide across gaps, right? Well, if you ever jump off a cliff, you can reach the bottom safely by gliding. Yeah, mate, go on. Jump off this cliff and give it a go. What are, are you saying there's fall damage in this game? I had no idea. Don't wait too long or you enter into a deadly free fall. Wait a minute, did the first game also have fall damage? For some reason, I don't remember that. Here's something you might find useful when you're up against Cass's goons. What's that? It's the ability to lock onto a bad guy and always hit him with your rings. When you see a bad guy, press the lock on button. While you hold the button down, you'll always face your foe. When you throw your ring, it'll head right for him no matter which way you're running. Have a go on this fella here. Oh, the spy. See these rails? Well, if you jump up on them, you can start grinding. It's a great way to get around the place. Why don't you give it a burl? I didn't even get to do the other thing. But yeah, lock on is actually pretty cool. Just hold right trigger. Okay, that's not how grinding physics work, but apparently it works in this game. Oh, you can start leaning too. Well done, mate. You've learned just about every bush rescue trick in the book. I've got an interesting job for you, mate. Julius needs you at the Gunner Gunner training grounds to test his latest invention. Okay, so he must be all the way to the east then. Metal Menace over there on the far right. Okay, that's pretty easy. I could also head over to Tree Rescue, or that's a croc. But anyway, I think I should go... Where should I go? Hello! Hello to you too! Right, I mate. Did I just hear him pick his ears? That's gross. I can also climb up this tower. That may not be a bad idea, just to see what's there. Thanks to eyewitness reports, you've been able to reconstruct the events of Boss Cast's escape from Kerawang Prison. I suggest using my simulation to get some practice with your new rings. Are you ready to give it a go? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna say no. I think that just allows me to do the old mission again, and I don't want to. Okay, I'm seeing what looks like invisible platforms. I can always talk to this person. There are literally billions and billions of things that haven't been invented yet. Just give it time. Most of it is just going to be streaming services anyway. Oh, I got kicked out of there. What the frick? That wasn't supposed to happen. Just got flicked out through the window. Okay, nobody else is here. Can't do anything about these metal boxes. Maybe I can later, but for now, you just gotta leave them alone. Alright, let me go into the uh, options for camera. Camera rotation up and down. Can I invert that? Yeah, I'm going to invert like the uh, vertical movements. Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay, let's see what's up here. Anything? I can climb up here. Wait, I thought I saw something that was invisible. Oh, apparently you can zoom this 
Oh, you can zoom in like that. I didn't know. Using, like, left and right. Okay, maybe I was just seeing things. Never mind. Nice, I was able to get up there. Is there anything good up here? I don't know. I'm seeing a purple glow. The purple crystal behind the fence is a warp crystal. You can use the warp ring to teleport you next to it. Well, obviously I can't do that right now. I do see some moving platforms. I bet you I'll get something good if I can get through them. Oh yeah, that just looks like opals. Oh, okay, I mistimed that poorly. Okay, you can actually let go of Glide and then just reapply it again. The hell? Oh, I need the Flame Ring to melt all this. Okay, there's plenty of things I still need to get if I'm to collect a lot of goodies. Or I could, at the very least, just... Ah, do this. Just pay attention to your oxygen meter, of course. Sure as hell don't want to drown. Or do you? Y you shouldn't. Wait. Maybe I don't have an oxygen meter. Oh wait, yes I do! Yes I do! Oh boy! Get out! And I see even more opals. So, you know, let's just get some more. I guess it recovers all your health. Like, whatever you lose on land, just go in water and resurface and you're back to full health. It's like Superman 64. Not Superman 64. Super Mario 64. You know, the playable game. Okay, I might as well get this bag and then we'll probably head back to the surface. Oh wow, there's even more bags over here. Green bags give you like 25. What do the blue ones give you? How much is that? 10. So way less. Ah, money is money, I guess, so. <laughs> Who am I to complain? Okay, now we made it back on the road. So this pretty much takes us to, like, the main part of town. And we're gonna be doing, like, the bulk of our tasks in here. Yeah, Buramudgee Town. That's the place. Oh, it's even got traffic and everything. Buy new rings! The red gems you should collect are opals. You can use them to buy stuff. Why don't you enter the rank shop up ahead and see what new boomerangs are available? Excuse me, available. Yep, it tells you where you can get some ranks. It says ranks on it. Good day, son. Glad you can make it into me shop. I've got some beaut boomerangs for sale today. Uh, choose carefully, though. We have a no returns policy. <laughs> okay, so obviously I'm gonna need a fair amount of ranks to afford all this good stuff. The infra ring will allow you to reveal the invisible stuff, and there's gonna be quite a lot of invisible stuff. Um, uh, maybe I should save my money, buy this first, and then we'll go and, uh... Bye, son. Uh, oh, that's actually my dad? <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> Alright, in any case, let's... Uh, let's go and save. Obviously, only 2% is done, because I obviously didn't do much. This is only the first episode, after all. So let's end it here, and in the next part, we will keep exploring Baramudgee Town. See everyone, thanks for watching.